Today, guys, I'll be sharing with you guys how to make a double layer. One is an eight loop bow and the other one is a four loop bow. So if you're interested in seeing this, please do stick around. I got these ribbons from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree has a beautiful selection of ribbons for the holiday. And I am using wired ribbon. So um, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna be using is a yardstick to measure the length of um, the tail and each loop that I create with the bow. And these, the first one I'm gonna be showing you is two layers with two different ribbon. First, the one I'm gonna do is measure the tail at seven and a half inches. I'm gonna pinch it and give it a twist. Then I'm gonna be creating the loops at six and a half inches. You're gonna pinch that area down and give it a twist. And this is the beauty of using it with the wire because then your loop would keep its size and it helps to um, keep that shape. So we're gonna do that four times. And also what I'm gonna be, also what you're gonna need it with this, which is so nice to make these bow easy, is uh, some wire or what I'm using is the pipe cleaners. And you could also get these pipe cleaners from the Dollar Tree. So when you come to the second tail area, you could measure it on your yardstick or you could line it up with your first tail and cut that down. So then what I'm gonna do is pinch all those loops together in the middle, take the pipe cleaner and go ahead and twist it to the base of all the loops. So just give it a couple twists and you're gonna leave this pipe cleaner along it because you're gonna need it to connect your top layer. So the second um, ribbon I'm using is like a burnt orange ribbon. And we're gonna make that a little shorter than this initial bow. So instead of seven and a half for the tail, I'm doing it at six and a half. And then the loops, I'm gonna make them five and a half inches. And um, so you're gonna create your loops and then give it a nice little twist. And again, this ribbon is wired. So if you guys like what you're seeing today, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. So I'm just making this a little smaller so once you stack them to the top, you have that stack layered look. So I'm gonna just line up my tail to the other tail and give that a snip. So now we're gonna go ahead and stack that on top of the first bow that we created. And we're gonna take that pipe cleaner around the base of those loops and twist that right into that. So now you could leave those ends as, as is, or you could go ahead and take a wire cutter and cut it down. But once you fluff out your bows, um, your loops, you're not really gonna see that. So next what I'm gonna do on the tail of the ribbons is create a fishtail cut. And in order to do that, what I did is I fold the um, tail of each ribbon and I cut a V into it. And it depends on how you fold it and what angle you cut it in. So you just fold it, you see the solid fold is to the left and I cut up. So if you cut in a wrong angle, you could get an arrow instead of a V shape. And you could take close note that I did that mistake on the very last tail. So just fold it um, along the folded side. You wanna take the, your scissors, point it up, and then cut that V shape. So that's it guys for our first ribbon. It's a double layer eight loop bow. So on to the next bow creation. All right, so this next bow, we're gonna create eight loops. So with this particular loop bow technique, we're gonna need three pieces of the ribbon, one at 15 inches and two pieces at 20 inches long. So what we're gonna do be using is our hot glue gun and I'm gonna use a silicone mat. 
So what we're going to do is take the first piece of ribbon, which is 15 inches, and we're going to glue the edges together. So I am have um, some wax um, paper down to protect my surface. I'm going to bring in the silicone mat. So when I use a hot glue gun, the ribbon does not stick on itself. So we're going to um, add some hot glue gun. So we're going to add some hot glue to one of the edges and overlap the other edge. And this is like a plaid. So I'm going to kind of line those up and then stick that down. So we're going to do the exact same thing to the 20 inch piece too as well. These are nice bows because you don't have to tie it. So these are really two nice techniques in creating your bows. So once we get our two loops created, we're going to stack them up together. We're going to put the larger loop to the bottom with the seam on the bottom. And then we're going to put the shorter loop that we create. We're going to stack that up to the top and um, we're keeping that seam in the back. So we're going to take our third piece strip of ribbon, which is 20 inch, and we're going to put it to the top and we're going to tie a knot to the back where the seam is. I just made one knot to the back, really pull it really tight and you could also create your fishtail cuts to the tails of your ribbon. Just fluff up those loops and then you could add it to your wreath. You could add it to gift packages. Um, you could add it to centerpieces. So these are some great ideas, a genius ideas, whoever came up with it and how to create these beautiful bowls without actually tying it. So with this particular bow, I added it to a wreath that I created out of a pizza pan that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll post that link to the top if you guys are interested in checking that video out. So this is a video where I created a wreath out of a Dollar Tree pizza pan. So if you're interested in seeing that, please do check out that video. I hope you guys got creative value from today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette and I'll catch you guys on my next video.